Hey guys, and thank you very much for checking out our installation guide to our Electric CCTV analog kit. If you're looking at deterring some thieves or generally just adding some extra security to your home or your place of work, this is definitely the kit for you. Using your smartphone, you can log into this, track it anytime, anywhere and see what's going on. And you'll also be very surprised at how easy these are to set up. So, today we're going to go through the step-by-step -step guide of how to get these up and running. Let's start with what's in the box. And here we have it, the full kit. So first off, the camera. Classic bullet design. Designed perfectly to withstand that classic British weather that we all know and love. Depending on the kit that you go with, we'll decide whether you have two of these, four of these, or maybe even more. Underneath we have the DVR, which is the brain of the whole system. That's where any footage will be stored to as well. So, we also have the BNC cables, which will connect the two. We have the splitter cable, which will connect the BNC cables, and the further power cables, which will give the whole thing life. And of course, the mouse as well. So you're also going to need a HDMI lead if you want to connect the CCTV up to your television, and an ethernet cable if you want them to check it out on your smartphone at any time. So make sure you have these two at hand. So, let's plug and power the DVR. So make sure you've got your power adapter, your HDMI lead, and your mouse at hand. First, plug in the chunky power adapter into the DC12V socket, which is at the bottom right corner of the DVR. Next, plug in the USB mouse in the USB socket, which is just to the left of it. And last of all, the HDMI lead, which will connect to your TV. If you don't have a HDMI connection in your monitor or your screen that you're using, don't worry because you can just as easily set it up with a VGA cable. We're now going to prep and power the camera, so it's best to get the BNC cable and the second power adapter and cable splitters ready for use. The ends of the BNC connector are colour coded. Red for power and yellow for video. Now on first glance the two ends of the BNC cable appear to look similar. However, on closer inspection, you'll notice that both jacks are slightly different. One end is male, and the other is female. Take the end of the cable that has the male connector and insert the red jack into the female jack of the CCTV camera. Now, just as they did with this one, take the yellow jack of the BNC and plug it into the only one that's left. But don't forget to give this a twist. That makes sure it's locked into place. So now we need to get some power into the camera itself. Take the main AC adapter, which will plug into your wall at home, and plug it into the splitter cable included in the box. Take any one of the cable ends and plug it into the red power end of the BNC cable and repeat the process for however many cameras are in your kit. And now, the last remaining yellow end of the BNC cable simply fits into the back of the DVR. And don't forget to give it that last twist. To view the footage, make sure you've selected the correct input on your TV or monitor. And that's it, we're all done. Now, you should be able to view your footage on your TV just like this. Now, we're gonna go through how you can look at your footage on your smartphone, whether you're at work, away from your home, or on holiday. And here's how you connect the DVR to the wireless router at home. Take one end of the Ethernet cable, and plug it into the RJ45 port on the back of the DVR. Take the opposite end of the Ethernet cable and plug it into the LAN port on the router. And now the DVR is connected to your internet connection at home. Use the mouse to right click on the screen and click guide. If it asks you for a password, just ignore it and click OK if you've not created one already. On the welcome screen, Follow the on-screen instructions and click through to the time screen. Check the date, time and language settings are correct before clicking through to the next screen. On the network test screen, click on the retry button to test the connection of the DVR. If all three display in green, then you're good to click next. On the following screen, you'll see two QR codes. These are an alternative to downloading the app. If you've already got it, Click Next. Now you'll see a singular QR code. Now keep this because you'll need it later on. 
If you've ever downloaded apps to your phone, then this should be a breeze. Start by unlocking your phone and going into your phone's app store. You'll need to download and install the app. For the sake of this demonstration, we've already pre-installed it onto our demo phone. The easiest way to find the camera app is by typing in XMI into the app search bar. The app should appear something like this. Once you've opened the app, click in the bottom left corner where it says local login. Now click on the top right corner for the add sign. And to add a new camera, click on the QR code icon, ready to scan the QR code. Scan the code on the screen and as if by magic it will take all the information that it needs automatically. Once you've scanned the QR code, click search. Now click on the camera that comes up. Now you need to assign a name to this camera. It can be anything that you like. Click on the camera icon and there you go. View the footage live from your smartphone. And that's that. It's as simple as that. All done. The DVR setup, all connected to the monitor and connected to the internet at home as well for you to watch on your smartphone anytime, anywhere you like. Thanks very much for your time and we'll see you again soon.